All right, welcome to Comedy News Network by Comedy and Kitsap, brought to you by Comedy and Kitsap Productions. Uh, so this week we have a crazy amount of shit going on. Oh, Don't yeah, wait. Man. We have so... Dude, the whole week, pretty much the whole week is comedy. This is crazy. We're going to start off on Wednesday. Sign up at 7.30. Mike at 8 at Remedy. And Morgan Colas is going to host. Oh my god, I'm so ready for that. Oh yeah. That's going to be awesome. I hope she roasts everybody after their set. Oh sad. my god. I should pay her extra to do that. That'd be sweet. Without telling anybody. That'd be funny. Even if she didn't roast anyone, even if she was just like, good set, we'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we have uh, four events in four days. Oh my god. Starting Wednesday at Remedy, like she said. And Thursday, we're going to be at Hook Canal Brewery for the last Thursday of every month. This time we got Adam Tiller headlining internationally touring comedian and hosted by Dan Rosenberg who wrote a book about hosting comedy so you know that's going to be a good fun time Damn. and we got a couple of other comics on that show that starts at 7pm at Hook Canal Brewery in Kingston so I don't want to miss that one let me see uh, Friday July 26th there's going to be a roast battle at Dog Days Brewery that starts at 7. Oh my god, we have so many heavy hitters. I didn't even look at the thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So this show is kind of put together last minute because of some circumstances outside of our control. I love that saying. It's so popular now. You <laughs> notice that on Facebook? Everyone's like, due to circumstances outside of our control, as in low ticket sales. It's so mysterious. Yeah, because it could be anything. <laughs> Like, what are the circumstances? It Just could be tell good me. stuff, it could be bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It could be, like, questionable stuff. You know, I want to know. <laughs> I'm just nosy, I guess. Why but did you make it to work? Circumstances. Outside of my control. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> uh, So we're trying to put together this roast battle show. So if you guys want to see us do a roast battle show at Dog Days Brewery on Friday at 7 p.m., the weather's supposed to be beautiful. Great place to sit back and have a beer and bring your dog if you want. God. Uh, I wouldn't bring your cat, but you could if you wanted to. Bring a leash. Who's on that show? Johnny O versus Jeremy Wise. What Ooh, the okay. hell, <laughs> that's, a, that's a matchup. That's crazy. Drew Lopez is coming to town. She's going to be whoop, whoop. battling Allison Rose. Oh my God. Chick fight. That's going to be crazy. It. Mean Girls. And then Brock Toronto versus Tom Jorza. Jesus. That's going to be crazy too. This whole lineup is... Oh my god. Uh, am I the only one having dreams about Brock Toronto versus Tom Jorza right now? Because that sounds way too dreamy of a roast <laughs> battle. It almost has shades of Timmy versus Jimmy in South Park. I feel like I'm going to go to hell for laughing at all the roasts. Oh, it's going to be so good. Yeah. So, But you know what? They both have experience roasting. Uh, this is actually Jeremy Wise's first roast battle show so I figured we'd give him a crack at it uh, and what if he's so good at it what if that's that's happened what if he's just the best at roasting that's happened he murders the mic have you ever seen oh, Paul God. roast Billy I've seen it once yeah live oh my god it's so good <laughs> so good it's a like gold they know so each good. other so well yeah. that's why they're so <sighs> exactly but when Billy tries to fire back, it's so awkward. It's so <laughs> awkward. It's so funny. Because Paul's all fucking word is planned out and sophisticated <laughs> and sharp and punchy. And Billy's just like, fuck you, man. <laughs> Not Billy Shut great. up. <laughs> Billy's great. By the way, he's looking for bookings. So book him. Billy Campbell and Paul Gillen. Right? Fuck, book them both. Fuck it. Book me, please. Yeah, fucking book Janelle. <laughs> book Joe. We're diversity hires over here, just <laughs> looking on. for books. Uh, and then Saturday, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I cannot overstate how excited I am for Saturday because this is a place that we used to do shows at when it was a shithole. And then it got remodeled and we did shows there and it was nice. And then COVID happened well, right before COVID, someone bought it and then invested a bunch of money in it and then they couldn't open, so they couldn't get their money back. So then it just sat there for COVID and then finally after COVID opened, someone 
uh, bought it, and I just walked through it the other day, and it is oh. beautiful. It's nice in there. You've been in there? Yeah. Yeah, it is fucking beautiful what they've done to the place. It's called Daily Reggae Cafe. It used to be called Hi-Fi. used to be called Lucy's. It used to be called Iron Horse. It used to be called The Dugout. So... This wow. building has a long history of changing names, owners, and not being able to stay open and in business. So I don't know if it's just the area or if it's cursed or <laughs> what, but the way it looks and feels now, oh, absolutely amazing. I cannot wait till Saturday so we can do a show there again. They have great papaya. Yeah, it's a breakfast cafe, daily reggae cafe, and they will have their banquet liquor license for the show on Saturday. Holy so crap. there will be limited selections of alcohol uh, per donations. So yeah, and it's a cover free show. It doesn't cost anything to get in. We just want to pack the place and kind of get the word out and show people what it's all about on the inside. Give them a reason to come out and support your local artists. So yeah. Rolling deep. Uh, yeah, we'll see. That's going to be a good lineup, too, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so Wednesday, Remedy Speakeasy, 8 p.m. Sign up at 7.30, open mic comedy hosted by Morgan Colas. Thursday, Hooking Out Brewery with Adam Tiller, hosted by Dan Rosenberg, 7 p.m., no cover. Friday, Roast Battle Show, Dog Days Brewery, 7 p.m. Six comedians duke it out. See who's going to be the new Dog Days champs. And then Saturday, Old High Fidelity, the Daily Reggae Cafe at 7 p.m., with a great like lineup of local comedians that you can come out and support and so on. Damn, man. You, you talk a lot of crap about your memory, but I wouldn't be able to spout off all those things, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, the only reason why is because I fucking made every event page, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, man, yeah. So it's yeah. like, yeah, this is my life now. Holy crap, man. This whole week is... Stacked. It's stacked with good stuff. And it's you guys July, need to come bro. Out. Oh it's my July. gosh! I know the weather's nice, and nice weather kills comedy turnouts. I get it, but I'm asking you: if you're ever going to support, this is going to be the week to support. All of these shows are going to be amazing, uh, and it's great to support local comedy in the summertime. Keep it going. Keep it afloat. Just hang on, white knuckle this bitch until fall and winter when we can get back on track. When there's less to do, it gets darker sooner, and you want to laugh to make it through the cold, dark winters. Dude, my face is going to be hurting by Sunday. Oh, man, I can tell you that. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm going to be microdosing on life <laughs> for sure. It's going to be a good time. Uh, yeah. Also, shout out to Sunday. If you, oh, yeah. If you make it to all four of these shows, and then you make it to a, this fifth event on Sunday, I would give you so much hugs. But shout out to Narn Van for doing Roast Mania at Tacoma Comedy Club on 6th and Proctor this Sunday at 7 p.m. He has an amazing lineup of comedians. You don't want to miss it. Those Roast Mania shows are so much fun. And he's got so many people talking about the comedians on the shows right now. So many people are talking about the lineup. That's going to be wild. Who's on that show? And I'm not going to say who's on the show. I'm not going to say what the is being talked about. But I don't think you're going to want to miss that. So if you're in Tacoma this Sunday or you want to drive out to Tacoma and check out a fucking great show, I bet you Nara Van's Roast of Mania this Sunday at 7 p.m. is going to be off the chart. Dude, that's going to be crazy. If it doesn't sell out, I'm going to be surprised because there's a lot of people talking about this show and the contents of it. There's some weird hype around it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say, I cannot say for sure, but Kamala Harris might be there. Oh, yeah. She might be pissed. She might be ready to kick some ass, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. She's going to fucking punch somebody in the face, and she's going <laughs> to then go turn around and win the presidency <laughs> and steal it. So, yeah. It's Don't gonna call be, it a comeback. <laughs> I cannot say that that's going to happen. I just heard through the grapevine that that might happen. So, yeah. Oh, man. It's all about that secret service, am I right? <laughs> all right, well, thanks for watching Comedy News Network. My name is Joseph Rogers, and of course, with me is Janelle Chavera. If you want to see us perform this week, come on out, support comedy. Come on, guys. And That's all I got. <laughs> none of these shows have a f cover. None of these, well, except for most of many on Sunday. Yeah, but... Yeah, how can you beat that? No cover. You don't even have to fucking pay at the door. Come on, man. All right. Love you. Have a good night.
Later.